zombie cat, but in skull form. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So the look I have going on today is a Sons of Anarchy rock and roll type of skull look. If you're liking what you're seeing, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to, please subscribe and let's just jump right into it. Grumpy cat. Begin by outlining your skull. Reference something online or just tap around your face to figure out the general shapes. Here comes the fun part. After you have your general shapes, start filling in the sockets with a light brown, slowly building up to add shadow and depth. Now, fill in the nose and the jaw. Blade in, let's start defining them. Take a darker brown and start chiseling out those edges. This will add depth and make the skull look more three-dimensional and realistic. Let's get creepy. Take any white base paint and start chiseling out all those negative spaces. Make sure your lines are clean. You want to have that separation to make it look more realistic. Don't worry about the brown bleeding into the white. You don't really want this to be perfectly white to begin with. Now that you have the general white everywhere, fill in your lips and start building in the bottom teeth. You guessed it, more shadowing. You're going to want to get darker brown and start hollowing out those areas where a natural shadow would fall. Do this on the eye sockets, the nose, and under the jaw. And don't forget to fill in those eyebrows as well. part of the entire makeup look, building in your teeth. I prefer them a little more asymmetrical and all goofy. This kind of adds this grungy cool look to it, but it's up to you. lower end of the socket a natural highlight. Grab a nice fluffy brush and take that lighter brown and start shadowing around your skull. Remember, the teeth are going to be more sunken in, so you're going to have a natural shadow. Prepare to look constantly pissed off. Furrow your brows and follow your own natural frown lines and emphasize them. If you don't have a bunch, that's fine. Add them where you think they would fall naturally. Guys, we're almost done. Now take a slightly darker brown and deepen up some of those hollows. Don't forget to shade around the top of your forehead. You don't want any of your flesh color showing. Any light colored brown will do. It doesn't have to be perfect. The messier, the better. To add an extra cool element, let's add fractures to the skull. This is optional. Take a light brown and then the darker brown and slowly build out those cracks. Now 
here's the ultimate secret. Add a little bit of white on top as a highlight. This is what's really gonna make these stand out. Now that the base is done, let's move down to the neck and shoulders. You're gonna wanna make a general vertebrae down your neck. It doesn't have to be perfect, you're just gonna shade it in anyways. Great job. Now you're gonna to take that lighter brown to begin with and start following the tendons that run along your neck. To make sure your skull stands out more, softly outline the vertebrae on your neck. You don't want it too harsh. You want the emphasis to be on your face, not on your neck. Carry on with your shading. Depending on your shirt, you're gonna to wanna to outline your collarbones, or if your shirt covers it or your jacket, don't sweat it. I did a messy outline knowing that my motorcycle jacket was gonna hide most of it. Now grab your favorite jacket and look like a total boss.